Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. So welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternative video number 11 um, for November's kit called Warm Wishes. So November 2023's kit were these adorable boxes and they look so small but they are actually so big on the back you get the qr code to do other projects you get to see everything in the kit and the coordinating colors we're gonna skip that now <laughs> like i did that quick simple let's move on so um i am trying there will not be like a ton of videos i have done samples which cut me using my supplies down in half um, for one of two reasons, uh, you don't need to spend the whole month of December watching me do videos. It's the holidays. And plus I have really enjoyed doing the samples and having something to show you. So with that being said, are you ready to see what I have done? I think this is really cute. So first let me show you my envelope. Doo -doo. I'm going to show you an alternative. If you don't have something like this, if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, you will probably have the ability to do this. You can make your own seal. This is what we are going to use. Um, you could do it in black. I thought I would choose to do it in red. You could also do it several colors. You could um, take a Sharpie and color the deer in black if you so chose. And this comes from, it's in this uh, paper pumpkin kit. So you can see it says North Pole Air Mode. This says Express Delivery North Pole. Extremely similar. And you can see how much glue is on here, how much I've opened and closed this thing. And let me open it up. So you might say, oh my gosh, I have that one. November 2022's Paper Pumpkin Kit called From the North Pole. Yes, right there she is. And um, great little add-on if you do not have the one we are using so I will do one in black on camera I have everything set up to do that but I wanted to do one in red well let's just not put that back in there I will grab my little sheet where's my stamp in Pierce mat I thought it wound up gone for a walk it just stepped aside so I am also using, just to show you, of course I'm going to use my little holly, but I brought this wreath in, and this really does go really well with this card. So that's from the Cottage Wreath. Stamp and Pierce Mat is here now. Oh, card. Ready? Drum roll if I had one. Ta-da! Yes, I'm using the add-on card bases. Oh, this is so cute. Are you ready? So you untie this, right? You slide this off okay so it's a two-in-one opening card you use the full house look at that and then I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you you can add this to be a gift card holder if you so chose I am NOT but I wanted to show you it can hold a gift card in the front of the card who would have thought right you can make it hold a gift card. I will give you the measurements to make this little thing here. I am not going to add it in my card because I'm not sending gift cards. Um, so anyways, but I wanted to show you that. So this just closes up, but this is the wreath. Warm wishes from our home to yours. And she closes up like this. And now to get her back on there, you do have to spend time and put both of these through the ribbon, but you'll see that at the end. But let me show you the inside, okay? Ta-da, look at that. So really cute, it is affixed to the card, but I thought, I absolutely love this. And yes, you guys gotta see this. I found in my little stash of bling, classic matte dots. I had two large ones and two little ones, so I got out my Sharpie and colored two of them. They were the vanilla ones, so I made myself my doorknob, put my little two little wreaths, popped them up. Now, this Santa in his sleigh is from October's 
2022's Paper Pumpkin Kit. I call it the Ho 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 set. I don't, oh, it might have been called the Ho Ho set as I see this. Let me show you a look at it. It was called the Ho 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 set. There's our Santa in its sleigh. Love this one. So I've been using it this whole time. There's even, if you don't have the little uh, black stars, there's little stars on this set right here that you could be using. So let's move this. I'm going to set this in here because I don't want nothing to happen to that because now I got to put it back together. There's my envelope. Put that together and let's go over what you are going to need. So <clears throat> move my stamp set aside. Nope, that's extra piece bits and pieces. So we have our card base. This is the add-on. It is five by seven. So it is seven by 10 scored at five. If you do not have this, do a five by seven card base, seven by 10 scored at five in white. Do a five by five of Knight of Navy, a two by two two by five, sorry, of white, shimmery white, any white, and you can add that glitter glue and, and do, you've seen me do it with my finger to add uh, the glitter and glitz on there. So also you see me tell you the trees, if you wanna add trees, use a die, cut it in half, put it right along the side. I've done that on a prior card. It does work. So, but we are using the add-on card base. It makes it easy. So we are using, this is the last of my houses, guys. So I have the trash bit left. So this is my large pecan pie house. And we are using it. I already have tear tape on the back just for ease. That's that. So for the inside, now I made these measurements to fit both the little blue house and the pecan pie house. So this is the real red is three and a half by three and a half. The white is a three by three. This is what we're gonna stamp our wreath on. So, okay, October 23's kit or stamp the tree or die cuts for inside the card. If you do not have, and mine have gone uh, missing here, hold on. I just, I put them in the wrong card envelope. The four houses, this is going on the inside. If you don't have these, stamp some trees at the bottom. If you have the evergreen, evergreen border punch, punch out some trees and put it at the bottom. It doesn't have to be this. I just happen to have the supplies and I'm going to use them up. So I'm using that. I have, uh, I don't know how much exactly this is, but I know to make the bow around the house, you need 21 inches. So this is 20, like five, and I'm going to use it. This was in my drawer. The other one I did measure off of that. This is real red sheer ribbon. Um, so ribbon. <clears throat> oh, I'm using the old scallop die. Is it in here? Yes, it is. So this really old scallop punch is in real red. Where's the other one? Alrighty. So, and we have our little circular tag from this kit that we're using. I have some of those black stars from a past paper pumpkin kit. Probably should pull those out. Hopefully I don't lose sight of them. And some of those little wreaths for our door. So let's get started. And I think we're going to start right with this one. I don't need the punch anymore. I've already done it. So let's get stamping. And let me move that aside. And this aside. And there we go. Put that down below. Stamp in Pierce Matte out. Get the stuff we're going to be stamping on. So this one is with love. And I know <laughs> I need to change out my block here. Oh, no. This one is right. This is Tis the Season. This is from the kit. This kit. November's kit. Okay. 
November 2023's kit. We just stamped Tis the Season. I'm going to set that. I'm going to clean this off because I need this. Actually, I don't, but I'm going to clean it off anyways because we're not stamping with love. <laughs> I already, let me just stick that on the back. We need the little tiny holly. We did the cute. My little dog left me. She wanted outside and I stuck her outside and my husband, like I put her inside. She wanted inside. I'm like, really? She must really not want to be out here. So here we have tis the season. Now I'm going to poke the hole. I just don't want my hand to go in it. And I'm going to put glue around it. Stick it to my scallop now you could use a die it's okay i just did what i had on hand that was easy for me to do i'm taking my old crocodile putting it over the circle that was made in the white and punching a hole in it so that is now ready for ribbon this is going aside we're going to bring that three by three square that i used this little corner rounder Four. I think it's kind of decorative. It's really kind of cute. Now we're going to stamp straight on. And there's one of my little dog's dog hairs. She is shedding really bad right now. She also has alopecia, so she loses her hair. We're inking it up. This is why I loved the cloth pads. You can do stuff like this. This is a distinctive stamp. It holds up and does a beautiful inked image. I'm just going to give it a minute. If you guys were all here in person, we could hit here and chit chat. But there we have our wreath. Really, really nice, isn't it? I think so. So next, we're going to come in with the sentiment, warm wishes from our home to you, yours, which I think is so adorable on the inside of the little house. I'm going to give that a second. I just want a really good, strong, real red. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. <clears throat> I'm still going to end up needing this. So let's go ahead and put this on its counterpart. I guess it doesn't matter. don't know why I've turned things around and around, but anyway, so here we go. Big X dot 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 dot. By the way, Susie, if you're watching this, I wonder if you are making bread. <laughs> so there we go. This is going on the inside of our house. We're going to set this aside for the moment. Um, next, we are going to, oh, we are going to stamp. <laughs> I want the wee little doggy. And since I cleaned these off, I can take these off. And I did not do this with the first one, but I thought it would be really cute. Oh, darn it. I don't have my, my blends. I put them away. I'm going to have to go get them. So I just thought the wee little doggy would be cute right there. We could do a whole pack of little dogs. Should we do a whole pack? Yeah. We're going to do a little pack of dogs. They're out delivering the mail. So we have a whole pack. I would need one more. Let's do it. Uh, I can name them. Lucy, Boone, Tia, and Zed. <laughs> Let's give those a second and let me grab the red as I jump over here because my I only need the light skin color. Oh, and I need the daffodil, the light, the light one. So three colors, no blending at all, but we are using blends just not to blend. So we're going to take the light. We're just using it to color in. So we're just doing our little envelopes with a little yellow just to make them stand out a bit. And our real red. We're not going to do any blue behind them or anything like that. Not stamped directly, but I really thought they would be cute. And I am going to handwrite on these, um, their little names, because I think that will be really cute. 
I know who to send it to, too, who will appreciate all the little doggy names. So I'm going to go over my... I told you guys, I don't care for the light real red at all, but I do go over the red with a second coat. <clears throat> so next we're going to color in our wee little dog. Now, you have to, I'm not going to color these dogs to look like my dogs. That would never be possible. As Tia is black and white, Boone is black and white, Zed is a mixture of gray, tan, and white, and Miss Lucy is a fawn blonde color, and their sizes, <laughs> Tia's size would be about this, tiny little thing, um, so is Zed, but other than that. Oh my goodness, I forgot I was... I'm sure my husband got it out. He was cooking dinner. I started, my grandson was, came home from school and he was like, I'm so hungry. I'm like, okay, I'll throw you a snack in the air fryer. And I forgot to go get it out. But I'm sure my husband, who was in the kitchen at the time, will take care of it. So there are my little <laughs> dogs. And you know what? This one's going to get his nose cut off. That's not going to be cute. But anyways, he's going to get his nose cut off. I can tell you that. Because it does have to get cut off. Well, he's just running off the page. So, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because it has to get cut off. I forgot about that. So, we have three and a half dogs. Tia can be the half, right? Because she's so tiny little chihuahua thing that she is yep you're just gonna catch the legs she's out of the picture she's like i'm out of here don't want to be colored on so i'm just gonna trim this off using the card base as a guide for the scissors there's little tia look at that okay so we got three and a half dogs <laughs> So next for the inside, I already mounted two of them. These are from October 2023's kit. I put Merry Christmas, celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season. We are going to stamp it in real red. Hopefully I get it all inked up doing it like that. So I want it like right here. This just helps these houses and anything you stamp or put down there just helps to fill the space. If you like to write a whole lot in your Christmas card, don't put the houses and stuff there. That way you have plenty of room. So I'm going to do holly and holly. And that's for the inside. Now I didn't crease this card. I just folded it over. All right. So are we... Do, 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 do. I'm thinking, are we done? Oh, let's get some stamping on our envelope here. So I want, actually, I want the black memento. So we're going to close up the real red, the old olive. <coughs> nope, we're going to keep that out for a minute. Where is my special delivery? Oops, I need a block. Let's steal this block. From the Be My Valentine suite that I was working on earlier today. So hopefully special delivery is what I'm going for on the front of this envelope. Now I know that the postal code goes down here, but I'm going to raise it up. That's where I want it to be, at least this time. I want special delivery. I want it in black. Because we're going to do that seal in black here. And then I want, not the little dog. Oh, I already put it away. I was going to do Tis the Season. So let's do that in black. All right. So now, I think we got it all. I think we got it all. But let me show you. Oh, we do need 
put that away, put this over on that block. I'm just trying to move things out of the way. So I wanted to show you how to do the seal, at least how I did it. So here we go. This is, I even cleaned it off. I told you we were going to do a black one. So I did re-ink my memento. All right. Now I'm giving this a minute. Just let it soak up. Don't rush it. You know, think about it. Don't rush it. Let it soak up. We're going to see how we did. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to need more winter again, I think, too. But now I'm going to take my Black Wink Estella. Every time I use it, I thank Tammy for... I didn't even know they made anything close to this. So I'm just winking up the body of him. I like that. So the great two three eighths inch circle punch. This is not found in a catalog. This is an online only. There you go. And this, guys, was the back of a card base. So I'm going to stick that where it belongs. So now we have our seal that we can use on the back of our card. So but we do need to do a little bit. Let me close up this. Let me close up this for a minute. We do have to do a little bit of scoring and maybe a little surgery on this one. We'll have to see. So on your guillotine from here to here is um, one and a half inches. So we need to score at a half an inch. Now let me show you that little add on piece for the gift card. This piece here is from this inside from another project. I had it laying there. I was like, why not use it? So I did. So what I'm going to do is I have to bring this up and over because I want this all the way up against there like this. If I did this, it, it shifted. It's not straight. So I just lift it up. Once I get it to three quarters of an inch, which is this line right here. So I'm going to get that score line on that one. And one, two and three now if i need to trim my other one i had to trim a little off of this house to get it to um fold in the way i wanted it so i'm gonna saw what i did see there's my score line this one is already done give it a good crease fold that in crease Fold that back onto itself. Now, the trick is, see, yeah, because I'm not doing a tent, this will not fold evenly. So all I did is I took my guillotine. Where is it at? We're going to need Santa in the sleigh in a minute. And I stuck it in here and I just shaved the top of the house down. And I tried it, and it needs just a wee bit more. And I do mean shaving it, okay? I just took off ever so slight. Let me show you. Those little tiny bits, it still has the glimmer at the top. I just shaved it down so that it will close properly for me. So now... The front door is, of course, our front. So this is where we're going to put our warm wishes. And it looks beautiful in there. And you have to untie it and open it up to see this. Now, if I was doing a gift card, I would place my gift card right here. 
and right there it would be. But I'm not doing a gift card. So these are, I'm sorry to say, are not going to be in there. So it's just going to be like that. And voila, voila. Now I do need, I guess I can use that one for my ribbon. Where is my ribbon? Here we go. I'm going to take this piece off. Probably going to have to put another piece on it too. <clears throat> oh, first of all, find the two ends and stick them. This is how I did it. I stuck them through the hole. There's one. Then I'm going to stick the other one in there. Maybe. This one isn't cut at an angle. If it, it does help if it's cut like that. Because then that little bit will poke through the hole, hopefully. I didn't want a big hole. just wanted the small one. There we go. So, that's how I did this. And this is my preference. This may not be yours, but I did have to make sure it got straight. So, took my house now. And now I'm going to place my ribbon. I've just made that loop. And I have plenty of ribbon to work with. And after all, this was just a scrap piece. Nope, I need it down further. So, I do need an extra piece. Yeah, I thought so. So a little bit farther down across the two windows is a better placement to keep it closed. I was hoping that one could do double duty, but it can't. So there we go. Across the windows. hopefully straight. Now, this is going to do two things. Depends on which way you pull it. I want, this one is going to go in the center of the house. Now, I did not tie this in a knot because you have to open this and get, pull this off to open the card, right? So, no knot in it. I'm going to take a loop here. Our little sentiment and our scallop are acting kind of as that first tie. If I could just grab a hold, there we go. All right, so there is our cute little bow. And, <laughs> oops, now that it's sticking there. All right, let's grab my ends together and cut. So you've already seen how they have to undo it. Now we can take the tear tape off of all the other ones. And I already gave them a rub down before I started this video and I put them on just to try to you know cut down on a little bit of time <clears throat> so this now is just going down on the front of my card like so wherever you want you can go high you can go low I went kind of low on the last one this one needs to be a little bit there now Santa and the reindeer are going to go right there. And the knot is going to definitely be in the way. So I might have to position Santa and the reindeer. Oops. Let's position them better on the block so they're not in the way of the house. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little shadow now because it was already inked up. That's okay. 
All right. Let's see. <coughs> I'm going to hold this down for a minute. Let it soak up into the card. And then I'm going to put Wink of Stella on it. Then we're going to put the black stars on it. Then we're going to do our little wreaths. This card. Oh my gosh, you can't. That's perfect lined up. I couldn't have done that again. <laughs> Would not happen again. So here we go. Little bit of magic to a reindeer. I truly, I think I asked this before. How many of you guys out there still watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Okay. I may be in my very late 50s, but I do. Oh, I do. My husband bought me all those old Christmas movies on DVD, and we don't have a DVD player anymore. It's actually under the bed. And I told him, Russell, you either buy them digitally or you get out that old DVD player so I can watch my Christmas movies. Today, he told me, baby, I'm just going to uh, buy stars for six months for you. He's like, you can watch White Christmas, all those little Christmas movies. The other night I watched Holiday Inn. He's like, have a great time, babe. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that starts tonight. So here we go with our doorknob. Love it. Love the little doorknob, I'm telling you. So we do need, we can do minis, I think, on these. So we need five little wreaths. One, two, and one more. And I don't have any more houses, but I have little wreaths, I'm not sure. They can go in my Christmas stash, you know. It can happen that way. Let's turn these all over. You can put a whole one. A whole one does fit too. A big, excuse me, a large dimensional does fit on the backs of these little wreaths. But for today, the minis are going to do the job. Now, I'm not going to undo what I just did because I'll show you the inside one more time, but with the blue one because we already took that one and did its topper. <clears throat> but a very simple, simple alternative to the project. So there's one. Oh, we should have done the windows. So before we go, let's wink a Stella the windows. So we don't have to go around the wreath. One, two. Yes, you could put one on the door, but I think it's too big. That's my opinion. I don't like a, the wreaths on the door. Mm. Oh, just so, so cute. And I love the bow. I don't like that right now. It's like crooked, but I love the bow. And it's still, so hopefully they know to open it because they can see, you know, that it goes there. But what really makes this thing stand out, I'm telling you, are those little black, I just love these. I can't believe how much I love these, these little black stars. So I placed one in this corner. You could also pull it down like so, I guess, but I thought the tie was kind of a cute idea. You could do that. So there are other ways. One there, one here. We're doing all big ones. One here. Maybe we'll do a couple little ones because this one's going to have lots of stars in the sky. How many do we have? We have six. We need one more for an odd number. And there's an open spot right here. So there's our card. Okay, so you can pull this down, but you don't get the full effect of the warm wishes, but you can slide it down. I didn't know that, but it is super, super cute. And it's really, when it gets in an envelope, it's not going to be any thicker than you would normally do with dimensions. So I, I absolutely love it. The inside is great, even though Tia got cut off. <laughs> She's not going to know. 
So when you go to put this in your envelope, now let me show you, you can do the black seal or you can do a red seal. I'm thinking the black seal and how I'm going to do this is I'm going to ink up a portion of this just here so you can get a look at it. And then when I go, because I glue my envelope shut now, I can add a little bit more here. Oops. So there's my, and it's tilted. Of course it is. I don't want it tilted. So there's our envelope. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Trying to put it in there like so, so it holds it down. So now we have a seal. If you do not have something like, where is it? I knew I have it. Where's my sample? Oh, up here. It's this little North Pole airmail seal. This one will work just as fine. It will do it. And this is how, well, that's for that part. This is what happens when you open it all the way. So really cute, great card for a gift card. Really, really like this. I like the idea for gift card. I just don't do gift cards, so I'm not gonna put one in it. So I hope you like this project. Like I said, I'm gonna come up with something using one of the two trash bits that I kept. And then I'll do my paper pumpkin review. So there will be 12 videos plus the review in all. Um, and then I'll show you all the goodies I made. And I hope you all have the best, best Christmas. Um, thank you for allowing me to come in and share my love of paper crafting with you. And for everything you have given me this year. And believe me, your comments, your support of my channel is so, so huge. You I don't know how to express just what it really, really has meant to me. And I will hope that you continue to support me in the new year. Thank you so very much. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.